All right, so quick video, how to make your programming cable or accessory cable for Moto Toru series radios. I was trying to do this myself and could not really find one clear, short, sweet YouTube video showing how to do it. You know, videos are the quickest way to figure out how to do something. And uh, I, I almost messed this up a couple, so, a couple times myself, so I'll show you how to do it here. We're gonna use this uh, rear accessory port Molex style connector. You can, of course, you know, buy the, the pre-made one that goes into the mic jack in the front of the radio. Um, that's a good option if you don't want to be pulling the radio in and out of the car every single time to, uh, to access the rear accessory jack, depending on how you have it mounted. So pick yourself up one of these accessory cables, not very expensive. Connectors, I mean, the, the USB cable, you'll have to just take, you know, any old USB, chop off the end, and... Um, get one that has all of the wires. Some of them are just for charging devices, very cheaply made cables, and they'll only have two two power wires in it. So you'll need that. And the way they go together is with these little pins. Now, I'll try and get you a close-up to see how they go. But pretty much what you have to do is uh, you want to solder the, um, you want to solder the wire in here, and then just gently fold over those little crimp parts over the wire and uh, then you slide into the thing. These, these they break off. Now if you do put one in the wrong position, fear not, they can be removed. They give you this kind of little, uh, it's almost like a little sim plucker tool and you'll notice in here you can see we have the bottom row and the top row of pins and then right above it you can see that little brass piece there is actually it's a, a row above that and you slip this guy in here and it'll allow you to release the clip and pull it out should you want to reorientate it but as I say for the purpose of this video just showing you very quickly how to how to get the data going very very simple you're gonna be using all the wires in the USB cable don't worry about these other two I have here this is just for ignition sense and uh, PA so we'll be focusing on these two Positions go as such, one, three, five, and then below it, two, four. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Up, down, up, down. I'm not entirely sure why they picked that, but that's what it is. So our position one is going to be the green over here. I'll see if I can try and zoom into this, keep it clear. As you can see... Position 1 is going to be the green cable, so that's going to be USB positive, and directly below that uh, is position 2, which is USB negative. So top positive, bottom negative. And then right next to that, the red wire is going to be position 3, which is the 5 volts output from any USB circuit, so 5 volts out from the computer. And then directly below that is the ground or the negative. So to the left on that side we have power positive and negative, and to the right we have uh, USB positive and minus. That's really all there is to it. Pop those in there, and you're only using these last four connections here. And of course the connector is orientated this way, as shown in the diagram. That's all there is to it. Put it in your radio, plug it into uh, the USB, open the radio, and you're ready to go.